Hi everyone, my name's Claire from Rainbow Acrylics. I've just done a really beautiful flower garden pour with some blooms and I just loved doing them. They're just so, such a satisfying painting to, to try and produce. Um, the blooms that I really loved were a deep blue, a blue black, um, orange and pinks. So I've decided before I put my paints away, I'm going to do another piece just with those colour blooms, absolutely gorgeous colour blooms and fill the entire canvas with them. Um, so let me show you the colours. The colours I'm going to use for this pour um, are the, for the designer all Pebio Studio Acrylics colours. So I've got the Iridescent Violet Blue, the Iridescent, what's this one called, it's here, um, Iridescent Red Blue, the Iridescent Orange and the Iridescent Blue Black. I'm going to put down um, just a white base which is made of Amsterdam White. Uh, all these paints have been mixed with um, Flood Flower Troll, which is the American Flower Troll. I'll put the recipe in the video description. And I'm also using a cell activator, which I've got here, and that's been mixed with Australian Flower Troll. And again, I'll put the recipe for in the description. So let's just blow the base just to get this canvas covered. This canvas is a 30 centimeter, I think it's 30, yeah, 30 centimeter round canvas. I tend to find that round canvases sag a little bit in the middle, so I've just sprayed the back of the canvas um, and just wiped the water around, and then as it dries, it actually it just tightens. So hopefully it won't be so saggy in the middle, it will it will remain um, nice and tight. So I'm just dabbing all the edges so that I know that all of my canvas is completely covered. Right, so the pour I did before, I had the blue back at the bottom, then I had the, the reddier colour, then the pink and then the orange. So I'm going to just stick with that. I'm going to do quite a few flowers. I want this to be quite a crazy, quite a chaotic uh, blend of flowers. So I'm just randomly, very, very randomly popping this, some paint on. I want them to blow over the edges, so I'm I'm going to make sure I put some little puddles at the edges. They will all meet, these flowers, they will all mix together. I'm hoping it will just create some beautiful, beautiful lacing with the Australian flower troll. Right, this is quite a lot. Maybe more than I was thinking. Oh well, it's too late now. And then what I think I'm going to do, um, I want the pink then the orange, but I think I might just do that on, I think I might mix it up so that some are orange and then pink, some are pink then orange. Right, that is one very spotty painting. So let's put some cell activator on. I think I'm going to do this just one at a time because the cell, I don't want the cell activator to sink.
Right, I am so happy with this. Let me just try and give you a bit of a close up. The lacing is just amazing. Absolutely beautiful, exactly what I was wanting. Um, and a lovely, crazy amount of flowers on there. Um, I'm just going to use the end of my paintbrush just to very gently pull the paint in in certain areas, just to create more of a petal um, like appearance. If I just bring it in there, for example, it just makes it, I think it just makes it look a little bit more like a petal. Just how bright and fun and crazy is this? I am so happy with this, absolutely love it. The colors are just amazing, absolutely love these colors together. Um, I'm happy with the white, the amount of negative space I've got. Um, and I'm really happy I left that as a plain white and not a, a mixture of colors. And then the detail, let's try and focus it, is just gorgeous. The lacing, oh my goodness, I love this. Absolutely love this piece. This inspires me to do exactly the same again, but bigger, huge canvas covered in blooms. Really, really pleased. Um, and I think it works quite well that some, um, for example, that one's covered in pink at the top and that one's covered in orange at the top. So the last color that I put on is the most prominent color in all of them. So I think it's actually worked well that I've mixed it up a little bit, some orange and some pink. Wow, I'm so excited about this one. I really hope this dries well and doesn't sag. I'll be back when it's dry. This has to be one of my new favorite ever paintings. Um, I will probably sell this, but I will find it really difficult to, or I might not, I might keep it. Um, I absolutely love it. Um, so before I show you the real detail, the first thing I want to just show you, just look at that. It almost changes color. And the, it's the iridescent blue black, I think it's having quite a big impact because sometimes it looks gray, like there in the center. But then if you just tilt it like there, it just it just changes colour completely. It's oh I just I just love it. All that iridescence is just amazing. Um, so let me take you in for a close up. The blooms the, the flowers have just kept their shape absolutely perfectly. Um, so I haven't had to go around the edges at all this time to define the, the flowers. Um, I, I'm loving the um, per the orange sorry the orange flowers next to the pink flowers. The difference is subtle, but you can really see it. Um, and I just think that mixes it up a little bit. It just, it just, it just works. Lacing is just gorgeous. I'm incredibly happy with this. I really want to do something bigger, something huge with lots of these, these sort of Dutch pour style blooms go really, really big. I'm not sure how yet, but that should be coming up in the near future. Great, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think. Um, any thoughts you have? Oh, it looks better that way, doesn't it? You can really get the intensity of the colour there. Yeah, really, really happy. Really love this. Um, great, yeah, let me know what you think. Um, I hope you all have a lovely weekend. Bye.